And with team coverage, as police are searching for suspects who were at large after several shootings in the Poconos, Eyewitness News reporters Caroline Forback and Kevin Hayes have been following this story overnight. Pocono Mountain Regional Police continue to question several people after multiple shots were fired in several different locations throughout Monroe County. There were four victims in total. Our Caroline Forback explains how the situation unfolded. The Coolbaugh and Toby Hanna areas of Monroe County have been on high alert since 5.30 Monday evening as police responded to one shooting after another. In a press conference, Pocono Mountain Regional Police Chief Chris Wagner said four victims were shot in multiple locations. The first gunshots went off at 5 p.m. Chief Wagner said officers responded to reports of rapid gunfire at a Pocono Country Place, a private development in Coolbaugh Township. As officers began to respond to that location, in short succession and in, in a very rapid amount of time, we started to receive other calls regarding additional shootings in the township. Police found two victims at a house on Ledgewood Drive. A 47-year-old woman was shot in the back and a 19-year-old man was shot in the arm. As they dealt with the first two victims, they were also getting reports of gunshots at a Toby Hanna shopping plaza. Then, officers received another report of a third victim, a 20-year-old man, in a parking lot near the intersection of Kingsway and Route 196, with an apparent gunshot wound to the head. Uh, that victim was in and out of consciousness. Then, another report came in. Officers responded to a car accident at the intersection of Campbell and King's Way, where they found a fourth victim, another 20-year-old man with a gunshot wound to the leg. Throughout the night, police brought in multiple persons of interest for questioning. So we are still processing the scenes. Um, you know, again, we'll be looking for direct physical evidence, things of that nature, shell casings, uh, blood, any other evidence that we would typically find at a scene. As far as suspects, persons of interest, that's what we're looking to gain through our interviews and through our witnesses to kind of piece this all together. It was a long and tense night for residents and first responders in the area. The community under a shelter in place for hours as police searched for suspects. Reporting in Pocono Summit, Caroline Forback, Eyewitness News. Caroline, thank you. And with that